Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again with the follow-up video on Discharge self-cast version using all three charges as an Inquisitor. And what you're seeing here in the background is basically the maximum amount of area I could achieve uh, without going overboard, without wearing like carcass jack, area weapons without doing a cluster jewel. It's just a little respec of like a few points so you've got decent area and then using the awakened area gem as well and it becomes a screen wide aoe and it's kind of probably the way to play this build i only just spec into this for novelty value and then spec back out of it because it was a little inefficient to take every single 10 percent area node on the tree that was near me um but ultimately it's kind of just a big glass cannon build so obviously we don't have a lot of life here we don't have that much es it ended up being about 5500 or so effective hp and i wasn't dying very often but the point is the play style is very much run in and get your attack off before the enemies get their attacks off so i was doing lots of these um full sextanted double beyond alpha whatever maps and uh right up to tier 16s and most of the time you're completely fine because you run in you blow up everything and nothing gets a single hit on you but for that you do need the right damage and the right area and I wasn't going full area for most of it and this was just kind of the meme full area uh, I think it's probably the right play uh, you'll have less single target you might sacrifice even a bit more of your um, effective HP but ultimately why the fuck not that's what this build is made for I think it's basically made for running around doing one tap screen wide AoEs so as you can see um, the Discharge MTX is still rather pretty. The AoE is pretty much screen wide with this setup. Um, I was using an Awakened Area permanently in the end um, since it was pretty worthwhile as one of our main um, six link sockets and then swap in for a conch effect on boss fights and you can see that our single target was pretty respectable as well i got a few more clips coming in the future but um, ultimately i think i was just a little short of what the single target should have been if you want a real effective um, sort of one or two tap play style uh, but it was kind of sketchy in the end. I got to level 91, barely dying, and then from about 91 to 93, even though it was really quick and I was just chain farming insane maps and insane um, heist farm XP was pretty crazy because you could sustain that almost indefinitely, run into a pack in a room and just blow up the entire thing. Even though that was all good, it was a bit dicey when I'd be um, having to take on something like this Maraketh Legion, for example. You absolutely have to time your discharge to perfection before they go off and do anything. Um, likewise, with plenty of um, sort of ranged monsters out there that if you've got LMP on the map, you know, additional projectiles, you run in, and uh, before you get your discharge off, they completely shit on you. It gets kind of annoying. So it is definitely going to be a glass cannon playstyle. And if you're going to try and do something like this, then uh, I would recommend getting used to running in and having balls and getting the attack off first. So I'm just going to say that. So it's not going to be for everyone. It was a lot of fun, but it's not the most well-balanced build uh, in the end because I just did not have enough... Um, HP to really survive the big hits. That said, you can see the single target's pretty good. This did actually give me, I think, the easiest Cortex run I've ever done because I just pretty much one shot or two shot every single boss and none of the bosses actually did anything. And Cortex is usually kind of a challenge if you get some bad map mods on there and if your DPS isn't ultimate. Um, and this DPS was pretty damn ultimate. So each of those bosses just one shot, two shot, and you can wind up your one and two shots um, pretty quickly with, like I said, uh, Stormbrand doing the power charge on crit. I do have a rune binder, so I got two Stormbrands on the enemy and my um, power charges shoot up from like one to eight fairly quickly. Uh, and second wind, as you can see, is um, still being utilized uh, a lot of the time actually not in this uh, specific example, but in a lot of our bossing, like um, from here on outwards, I think, we do still use second wind because uh, it's actually just gonna be a single target increase. To begin with, I did think I'd probably be going 
um, hypothermia as a single target swap, but the one second cooldown is just or one and a half second cooldown, it's just pretty unacceptable when you could instead fire off two or three discharges in the same uh, time frame. And if we can still maintain charges, then it should be worth doing. Sirius himself, not the best example of a boss fight for this type of a character, because uh, definitely couldn't one-shot him, and then still have to run around and do stuff. And it's a little bit annoying, but he didn't really hold us um, with too, or hold us back with too many problems. Uh, none of the real bosses did, but like I said, for this proper playstyle to be an actor, I feel like we needed just a bit more damage to uh, properly one or two tap bosses, because plenty of them took like three or four hits. Um, like as you saw, the Hydra took maybe four or five hits, and that's just uh, a little against the spirit of the build. So the POB will be updated, and you can see the gear and all that, but I'll leave you guys with a Uber Elder, which is actually pretty friendly for this type of a playstyle, and I thought went rather smooth. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Why would I ever sell it on ID and Ditches like you literally cry at me to do more gambling on stream. As opposed to throwing it away to other people. That's pretty good, like, um, play style for an uber. Because it doesn't take that much to phase them, since so we're not going for 100% health here. You just want me to do the thing that I'm not doing? No you don't, you never want me to sell an unID watches. One person does and that's for his own selfish purposes. This is totally fine. Oh, thank god I got some flasks back finally. Easy watcher's eye, easy double pride, no wait, single pride, double precision. Here it is. Here it is. Coming. I'm ready. Wisdom scroll. Indigon. But that's not a lot of money.